the first Neanderthal city was established in the South Africa region. Their society prospered and expanded into space. Genetically inferior Homo sapiens were created from Neanderthal DNA to serve as slaves. The Neanderthals were obsessed with immortality, and they worked millennia after millennia to unlock the DNA secrets. The Neanderthal race evolved into the genetically superior race known as the Nephilim. Many Nephilim lived to be 1,000 years old, but this was not enough. The earth was ravaged by climate change, and the great cities crumbled into dust. Both humans and Nephilim were on the brink of extinction. As the earth grew cold, both races interbred, but a few remained true to their heritage. Though similar in appearance, human brains were distinctly different from the Nephilim. Humans had a great talent for creativity, coupled with extreme acts of violence. The Nephilim exploited this creativity and kept the humans under control through religious worship. These were the gods of ancient times. The humans gained knowledge in secret and their creativity allowed them to advance to great heights. Eventually, it was the Homo sapiens who harnessed the power of the atom and they used it to wage a terrible war against the Nephilim. Many millions perished and empires collapsed, but humans prevailed. Following the first atomic war, the humans, led by the Hebrew tribes, cleansed the earth of the Nephilim. The remaining Nephilim abandoned the earth for Mars and other worlds. Still steeped in religious obsession, the humans made war and failed to prosper. A man representing the Nephilim ideals rose to power. The secrets of the Nephilim were discovered and a genocide against the Hebrew tribes began. The power to harness the atom was reborn under a turbulent war. The Nazi Empire retreated to rule the earth in secret. But word of the Nazi uprising reached the Nephilim worlds. Determined to take back their home, the Nephilim established a new empire on Mars. Journeying into space, humans discovered the legacy of their fallen masters, and they prepared for the return. And the Nephilim returned, demanding humans worship them as gods. The humans responded with nuclear weapons. The earth was left in ruins. A new religion arose amidst the chaos, led by Dr. Hatcher, a geneticist who recognized the superiority of the Nephilim. The Nephilim overlords returned to earth and divinely dominated the humans. And for a time, there was order. The Great Liberation War began. On a newly terraformed Mars, humans rose up and destroyed all the twelve Nephilim. The twelve remaining Nephilim overlords vanished into the dark regions of space. Following the teachings of Dr. Hatcher, a group of humans set out to rewrite their DNA. The first Homo superior, known also as a construct, was created in a Martian cloning facility. With their advanced biointelligence, the constructs established many colonies. Now completely independent from human control, the constructs founded their own homeworld. With their advanced intelligence, they set out to conquer the galaxy. Under the rule of the constructs, human numbers continue to decrease until only a handful of human colonies remained. Knowledge of the Nephilim and ancient Earth faded into myth and legend.
seven years ago. And when the Construct League were taking over, I went to their old museum where they were having an auction. Really, no one was buying anything. That's when I saw the blue whale. Now, she was a sight. I'm surprised they would auction their most sacred relic. Nobody cared about that old starship at the back of the museum. Besides, everybody wants to make a buck. I got me some anti-grav lifters, sailed her right through the roof. So how old is she? I don't know, I guess her hull could hold up to 10,000 years. 387 gave me the tour. Smelt pretty bad. Oh, we're doing a complete refit. Engines first, then the interior. I'm thinking about a leopard skin motif. Never seen that on a starship, have you? Not with our Turian military torpedoes. <laughs> That's right. Also taken from the Pleiadian military surplus of 2822 along with... She me. will be the fastest starship in the sector. No more Vega runs. Now, we're the big time. Captain, don't do that. Sorgon 387. Now, this is a space ranger. Conqueror of the worlds. Conqueror of women. Very experienced in interspecies pleasures. Yeah, <laughs> you know, a real dynamo. I mean, not like the other G7s. I mean, if he were human, he would be a star on the Super X. Transmission from Construct 3. I am fishing. Why are you fishing? That's the single most ridiculous question I've been asked all day. You were supposed to be on Construct 3 this morning. What's the big rush? It's just stasis pods. You need the orbiters inside those stasis pods. Yeah, well, you'll get them when you get them, okay? So, three days. But you pay more money, we burn more fuel, you get them faster. Hey, Raj, uh, you ever let the Reverend get unholy with you? When do we get the pods? Two days! Hey, Jurassic, I'm finished the refit. Well, it's about fucking time, buckety fuck. Let's get out of here. I'm not catching any fish here. I haven't caught a damn thing all day. You done? Won't hurt her injectors. Blue? She doesn't have Marcus's touch. You should see the relays. She's the only refit mechanic in 60 light years. <laughs> Look, she gets a little pissy because she's only happy when she flies. Yeah, get me back up there. You heard about the attacks? I don't care. Three human worlds were torched. Oh, there's a war somewhere. Job's done. Do your final checks and go. I heard it was the Nephilim. Nephilim who? Another human hybrid. They added some old alien DNA to their system. Very dangerous. Classified themselves homo superior. Not interested in politics or half-breeds. Maybe you should be. To the bridge, Captain. That sounded like an order. Sorry, Captain. I'm sorry, what'd you call me? Captain. Right, yeah, see, I'm the captain. I give the orders and you follow them. You, you, you look, need... I know I made you look good in front of your clone buddies, but on this ship it was... She-tac. she tack. It's her and she says that she needs... Well, that's fine. Why don't you patch it through to my cabin? Okay, and you... Make sure you check all the core relays before you leave. Jurassic? She tech, you miss me? This is not the time. I heard about the fleet crisis. Sorry to hear about Freddy. Tailing me. Wait, where are you? Pleiades 5. A sperm bank? You dump me because you don't want to make babies and you're hanging out in a fucking sperm bank? Inhuman. They have vaporized everyone. Whoa, what are you flying? An elite six time. I had no chance First to you gotta be a calm duck. Duress. I need you. She tech. She tech? System. But we have to go to concert. She needs us, Blue. You ready to go? Engine's coming up. Sunlight engines engaged. Central core. Hello? No access permitted to No access permitted Can you hear me? No access permitted to Damn it. 387's a hero. Still here? I was-
was checking the core relays when your engine started up. Well, why didn't you tell anybody? Because it's the central core. I could have been fried in there. I doubt that. Camper she tech homie beacon. Where's my ship? Uh, I guess it's still docked at the rear. Blue? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, it's still there. We have her. Dead ahead. This would never happen in a fleet ship. Gag it. Open comm lines. You took your time. Never late them better. I'm towing a life pod to the NMR. Need your help. Where's the barge fleet? They're all gone. Gone where? All of them. Something big coming round. They're back. She tech drop everything you're hauling and get out of there. No chance. Incoming vessel. General, engage anti-grav dampeners. It'll be rough. Roger that. Torpedoes. Which ones? The illegal one! What? Oh no. Torpedoes are. Say hello to Jesus for me. That's highly illegal. I don't see any police around here. Birds are screwed. That's the last we had. Start praying. I'm praying. Status. Lower atmosphere with one more bird in pursuit. We're going down there. No way. Yes way. Not landing on that fireball. What about your Raker 7? It's a two-seater. Then we land. Not in my lifetime. Override. Durassi, you promised me. Sorry, babe, we're going down there. Durassi, put me back on the line. Got that? This is this. Now, don't shoot unless it's running. Got it. At you. Right, right, don't want to have murdered the bitch. I'm shot. There's no sign of those Neeplum things. God, it smells awful. Yeah, it smells like your cabin. This was the ocean. Do well, you think so, Professor? If I was Captain, I'd want to get as far away from here as I could. Well, you're not Captain, so don't go trying to think. I don't like it. You know what? I'm sorry, Captain. I'll shut up and do as I'm told and settle for second mate, because I don't know what it takes to be anything else. Found it. I'm good. I hope you said your prayers. Come on, grow a set, will ya? I saw what you did there. What? You pointed the gun at me. I put it in here. Yeah, you pointed it at me. Clones. That's just that it's human. Them's ugly. So are you. He's not. <clears throat> Sorgon 387, liberated cro magnon clone. Thought you were all exterminated. Well, we found a little hiding place near Vega. It's not a hidden if you keep telling everyone about it. Get your hands off my corpse. So, uh, where's she tech? Your shuttle pilot, the one who's hauling you out of here? Forward guns overheated. Wait 30 seconds. Engage jump drive. Wait 30 seconds. Override engage drive. You upset? Get back inside. You hadn't seen her in over seven years. Yeah. Look, Captain, look. What the fuck do you know?
I'm a uh, hey, moron. Get the schoolgirl out of here. My name is Alicia. What? Alicia. Class A breeder, Alicia. Get Allosaurus here back to the ship. Is he, he you know, I have to stay safe. He was castrated at, at uh, birth. He's as sexless as a kitten. left you behind, Mr. Twinkle. You know, Sorgon, he's a half-wit, but she seems more capable. Glad you're here, General Freitag. Uh, Jurassi Vorde. I'd salute, but, you know. The Jurassic Vorde? from the pleading offensive? Look, that was a lifetime ago for me. So I heard you lived a life of petty crime after your court-martial. Look, I didn't come... That up. offensive was nothing more than a massacre. Well, we all make mistakes, old man. Smart. Why don't you go back to Vega and yeah. hide? Right. You live in Vega, huh? Seven years. No... Humans there. Hear anything from the other colonies? There are no other colonies. Well, yes, there's... They're a... all gone. All of them. They used biobot infiltrators. Put them in place years ago. And they gave the signal. We couldn't even get a fleet up. Everything is gone. It's a matter of days. Look, there's got to be someone somewhere. I'm here. We search for months. Plead, this is it. Not even a distress beacon. Oh, well, the, the constructs. In fact, I'm taking a group of them in stasis back to their home world. Should be safe. Our homo technus friends formed an alliance with the Nephilim. You go there, you'll be executed. I got a contract. Sorry, I'm under league protection. Listen up, ostrich boy. The original Nephilim go back millions of years, like the constructs and want us all dead. Oh. See, you're not so tough, General. You and me are probably the last two men in the galaxy. And there ain't much left of you. That, uh, Alishi? She your daughter? She is the last we have. I'm disgusted. A man of your breeding. Get your claws on her. But you and her may be the... You're hallucinating. You have no choice but to give her a child. Yeah, look, here, first we fight, and then... There's nothing left. The military went first. You regroup and hide. I'll let you into a military secret. Planet Mars. Where all the illegal weapons from the Liberation War era. Listen, I got two rules in my life. I don't bang stupid girls with oversexed ovaries, and I don't go into forbidden radiation zones. You know, it's good for you. Yeah, I do. So listen. The human race is run. There's nothing left. It's gone. Wiped out. You are all there is.
Everyone's dead? That's what the general said. But there's colonies and stations all over the galaxy. Well, they found a way to infiltrate everywhere. The question is, where are we still alive? While you were hiding in the most remote planet and known space. Well, there's no hiding anymore. Fucking constructs! Move it, Blue! It's not pretty fast. Why are they not firing on us? We're carrying their people in stasis pods. Cutting us off. Down in the hole. Are you ready? Yes, Captain. Dump the cargo. Full reversion to the NMR. No way. Do it! Not through there. We blow the regulators. Manual control. Drastic, that's twice now. Yeah, yeah. You're starting to piss me off. Captain Obvious. Go fix the regulators. I am not a part of your crew. You are now. Blue, how you doing? After all that, I'm not going to get as far. Mutiny? The injectors are clogged, the regulators are blown, and we're venting from the starboard engine. It's good you have your mechanic on board. Marcus was the mechanic. I need new and you're nothing but Yeah, can, can it? Blue, but we're lucky to have her. Apologize. I need new injectors. We make a stop at Finian Station. I can get you what you need. Is that okay? It's on the way. <sighs> Next time we crew up with men. That's every human frequency. But there is this. I hate that song. What does that mean? It says the Homo sapiens scourged has been eliminated. The Nephilim Empire prevails. All Homo Technus, Homo Superior, Homo Constructs, the Bioclones must report to the local garrison and be registered under the new regime. So it's just us and them? Yes. And Durasi? Yes. Four days from Pleiades, not a whisper on any frequencies. Chances of me having a beefy burger are slim. I've lost my taste for Georgia Grand Beer. We're seeing construct ships in the distance. We're a day away from Mars. Let's just hope they have a beefy burger. Or at least a nice fishing hole. I'm, uh... 
does a ship have to be so cold? All ships are cold. You ever been in space before? Never left Pleiades 5. It's always warm on the beach there. Hmm. Yeah. Sit. Did you know she tech? She was in charge of our program. Hmm. Did she ever talk about me? I'm sure she did. No, never. But she did speak about Freddie a lot. Why, you and she were... Yeah, yeah. All 18 months. Oh. Well, you don't really seem her type. Yeah, I guess not. So what made you want to become a breeder? You like sex a lot? Never tried it. Hmm. Well, the Corps was giving away incentives to get the human population restarted. Oh. I've been away a while. Oh, well, some disease was doing something to women's ovaries, and, well, mine still worked, so I was encouraged to enroll in the program. Station. Put Jurassi on. He's got other work to do. Been a long, long time for me. I hope I'm up for the chance. I need to know your history. Oh, well, my father was in the military. He used to force me to do all kinds of your things. Your medical history? Oh, uh, well, he broke three bones in my body by the time that I was 12 and... Ow! 76. I'm not supposed to touch anyone under 90. Oh, well, I'm 39. I'm ovulating. Oh, me too. <laughs> Open the docking bay doors, Blue. Sorry, Contessa. I can't do that. Open the fucking doors, Blue! I blast you a new asshole! Open. It's my first time. I'm a virgin. It's my first time. With a virgin. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Sorry. Mm. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Alright, closed off there for a bit. Oh. Yeah, this is strange for me. I ended it with she tech. Or she ended it with me. I 
because she didn't want to start a family. I don't remember. The point is, is that you want this. And I don't know if I'm ready to start a family. I mean, I want to, but not so fast. I want to get to know who you are. De Rossi. Oh, hey. She slipped out about ten minutes ago. I know. Did you find anything at the station? What's wrong with me? You find me attractive, don't you? You've been married to Marcus ever since I met you two. Marcus was older than me and... We both miss him. Feeling of being in love. Okay. You? Marcus told me about the days before she attacked. That was 20 years ago. Hmm. Marcus ever take you fishing? Hmm. Rintar Tournament, 2833. Heaviest Trillian trout. I, I had 2824. 25.7 <laughs> kilos. Your arms are too small, your skin and bones. <laughs> <laughs> Durassi. Hmm. You like me? Maybe you're one of the guys. I have a girlfriend. Besides, I'm all spent. Did you hear that? Jesus, Durassi, she's a mess. Tell her the truth. No. I never tell her. That's my rule. Are you insane? Send me out there and I can blast a hole in their hall. Incoming transmission. There's a reason they don't use these anymore. Because they work? I said incoming transmission. I've been around these babies before and they're prone to, you know, explode without being primed. What do I respond with? Ask him what the recipe is for Trillian Trout. I don't give a shit. On screen. Uh, Captain, you're ordered to stand down and be We're ready to dump your stasis pods. Go away. The whole galaxy is after you. We just want to put an end How to it. How about I give you your deposit back? Will that make you feel better, huh, Missy? You have no weapons aboard your ship. Yeah, but we're faster than you are. Crum de sar. Why don't you sit on this and spin, you squealing pig? Do what she says, Captain. He's one of you? They left me no choice. You and them. Five years of service and this is how you repay me? Shut up! Pig master. Monkey brains. What? Okay, you're together. So what do you want from me? Our stolen ship. We believe the core system contains the DNA codex of an ancient, full-blooded Nephilim overlord. They need this to be immortal. And they share it with you're us. You're a freaking puppet. Do it! Black like money, boy. Screen off! You know what? You're going to have to learn how to respect your captain. Thank you. Idiot! You, a chance at a good life. Ask an adventure. Get up! All my brothers and sisters shouldn't have to die. That's exactly why I don't shoot you right where you stand. You monkey slave! I took you from nothing! And I made your first mate! Second mate! Second mate! You treated me like your pet! Pig master. You wanna be captain? You wanna be? Here's your chance. Captain Caveman! Sorry. 
it, Captain. We still headed to Mars? It's not like we have a choice. Headed to some place called Mars. What's on Mars? Old human colony. Weapons. Maybe an army. It's unlikely. The whole system is flooded with hawking radiation. So we stay for a few weeks, do some fishing, collect some weapons, and then we leave and wage war. Planet Earth was destroyed centuries ago. Nothing can live in that system. Slow them down for the fleet of us. Threaten 387 with a tactical nuclear weapon. <laughs> oh, hey! Where you been? I was tired. Oh. Don't like this, Captain. We're venting plasma from the starboard engine. Why don't you try igniting the plasma? Are you okay? Okay. We're calling We're at the NMR at 15. You must be impressed with me. Is it true what they said about my core processor? Nah, it's called Starship Envy. You're still the fastest bitch in the galaxy. Darasi. What? Can I speak with you in private? Later. No, now. Oh. Wait! We destroy the ship, we lose everything. Our fleet will be here soon, but they're silent. Her starboard engine is weak. Small strikes will eventually crack the casing. She'll be slow and easy to catch. We destroy her, we destroy your planet. Look, if you got a rash or something, it's not me, because I'm clean. Have some Jojo fan beer. Probably the last in existence. Ooh! It doesn't taste like beer. I made it myself. Wow. Mm. Yeah. yeah, last night was pretty special. Well, I was actually expecting a little more fireworks. Well, you got some now. Mm. I just don't feel it with you. Oh, you felt something. <laughs> Look, this whole kissing stuff, like, you're my boyfriend? Mm. It's not what I signed up for. Maybe we talking. should try again. Mm. No. Actually, I have a full sample of your sperm stowed away. Yeah, you do. We really don't need to be having sex anymore. I have samples of ovaries, and I have she tax eggs. I can mix and match, make many different things. We need that for a healthy gene pool. Can you clone she tax? Mm-hmm. Not without a full cloning facility, though. And there's none of those around. Hmm. Buddy, she's moved on. Drink up. Hmm. Contessa keeps looking at you. Yeah, don't start with that. <laughs> she's beautiful. Hmm. You and she really... Like, yeah, yeah, nope. Is she your sister or something? She's married to my mechanic. Was. He's dead now. Oh. Do you have a ghost watching over you? I'll, I'll tell you something, but you, you... You can't tell anybody, you swear? I swear. She's a robot. What? Yeah, she was a pleasure model and he reprogrammed her. She thinks she's human. Oh. He, he programmed her to, oh. to fall in love and be in a committed relationship. Hey, what are they doing out there? Long distance concussion bombs. Is Blue always listening? Oh. We'll be out of range soon. Was she watching when we were... The lights were off, but I heard it all. Everything. Oh, Darassi. Shut the... Slow down. Oh. Too fast. No, Jurassic. it's uncanny, really. You remind me of someone. 
She's not a normal AI. Hmm. Weird. You used a famous person's profile, didn't you? Hmm. Where'd you find her? An old construct museum. You stole her, didn't you? I liked her personality. But I had to erase her history. You know, girl with baggage, you know. You did what? Nothing. What happened to my own personality? Oh. Uh, well, it was, you know, you were too dominant. How much did you erase? Look, you were, you were just a hull and a bioprocessor computer. Some of your parts were only to last 100,000 years. You're lucky I got you running again. Whose personality did you use? <laughs> this is good. Stop. Demasi? I, um... I, uh, I use she-tax. Oh. Oh. I knew it. Her? <sighs> I had some downloaded memories from happier times. Give me a break. I, I, I thought if I fused you two together, you know... You butchered my personality with her. You evolved so much differently. Wait a second. If she's that old, then is she a, a Nephilim warship? An original? Probably. Nice. Maybe I should go join my family. What, what, what are they doing out there? They're targeting my starboard engine. Oh, shit. Come on, Dorasi. Get sober. Whoa, oh, keep up the speed! We're on one engine and they're closing. Well, what can we throw at them? We can throw an engine at them. No way! The starboard engine is gone. We eject it with a small detonator, then blow it when they're near. Brilliant, we'll do that. They'll be attracted to it like an alcoholic to a strip bar. Go do that. Almost upon them. What are they doing? It worked. No. No, I know the captain and his snake tricks. Hey, activate the magnetics. No. They're on. Oh. It's back and forth. Shoot it down. Shields up. Status. Ranch group destroyed. Engine management offline. We ain't going nowhere. No matter, we'll keep the war fleet close. Very impressive, Cap. Send me like drone trackers. What? They will shoot tears on where they land. Sorts. Can't say I'll be walking at the end of it. It's a personal shuttle, isn't it? It'll be a safe for landing. Well, I would have blast enough from warship before we land. And you stay hidden. It's mighty precious cargo you're carrying. Captain. We'll have a much slower landing approach. Are you okay? I'm fine. Fishing holes anywhere. Lou, find a soft place to land. Scanning. You're a pissy missy. How important was I to them? The constructs? They had you locked in a museum. Your consciousness and you were alone for a few thousand years. You had no one to talk to. You're all alone. Couldn't move. <sighs> That's what I was. That wasn't you, Blue. And you're not She-Tech. You're 
unique, uh, special. You know that, don't you? I know that. Do you? Whoa! Hold tight. down? Seem to be. That's not good. There are a lot of these. Are we landing soon? I can't stay in here. Why did you become a breeder? I couldn't get a job with the Corps, and I wanted to get away from home. How many babies did you sign up for? I could go as high as ten, and I'm contracted for five. The pay was nearly the same for five as it was for ten. Maybe one day I'll enjoy it, but right now... Well, you are on your way to becoming pregnant. Never even been with a man. And? He's just not... I don't know what to expect, you know? I have samples of some of our greatest men, and De Rossi, he's... Common? Well... Not anymore. You like him, don't you? Damn. No. My husband. He recently passed on. And I've been taken over. Oh, can we sit down somewhere? Listen to my story. Your story? That's funny. What do you want from life? I want to settle down with a man who loves me and have a family and... What? Fuck! You shouldn't think that. I can think and feel whatever I want. You have to... Alicia, what are you talking about? <sighs> you're... You're... You're a fucking robot. What? You're a pleasure model. And your old husband reprogrammed you to think you're human. No, I'm human, I'm certain. Everyone on the ship knows you're a robot, except you. You just think you're a human. No. You can't make babies. I can, I, I have oh. my periods. I, I bleed, I get pains, I, I, have, I have cramps. You're a biobot, designed to imitate humans in every way. That's the point. No. De Rossi told me. That's why he didn't want anything. But... How far from the military dump? 20 miles to the east. How's the air? Terraformed a few hundred years back, but you'll find the air very thin. Hey, this was a nice little gift. Be careful with that. Yes, Mom. Durassi? What? Come back soon. Oh. On Pleiades, we have beaches everywhere. Not really any land. Shallow waters. Open spaces. The water scares me. You like me, don't you? Don't you, Mr. Twinkle? <laughs> <clears throat> That's the last there is. Mr. Twinkle carries sperm of five of our greatest minds. Want to be in love? Maybe I'm programmed that way. My emotions are nothing but. Why did he make me feel? Why did he 
can make me want things. shot from behind? They got bigger fish to fry. Hello, child. I ain't your child. Was. Still a slave. What generation? G7. Three hearts. Bioplasmic skin, double density cranium. Lung filtered enhancements. You know this? Genetics programmer. Uh -huh. Not for incubation, I was sold off across the colonies. Three masters by the time I was 12. Bio Seller came to Rintar and Captain bought me. The G7 recall started, kept freed me. Second me. But half pay. Who's the first me? We've known of your illegal colony for some time. If you hadn't housed the stolen ship, Vega would have been torched. done things I regret. The captain deserved a lot of this. I've read the forbidden saga of humanity. Wolverine, that's punishable by death. Humans and constructs were once the same species on Earth. Well, the constructs have been rewriting our DNA for centuries, but... There was a human doctor, Dr. Thaddeus Hatcher. He had a dream to see Homo sapiens evolve. I'm engineered not to care about such things. The Nephilim waited for human numbers to become more manageable before they started their genocide. I have my doubts that they will honor their promises to share in their immortality. You think they'll turn on you? to kill the Nephilim on board and find another way. What do 
we do? Restart the engines. How? We'll route the star drive through the maneuvering thrusters. It'll be slow, but we gotta try. Hey, Blue. I got a surprise for you. Rossi. Ah! I'm a fucking robot! What? I'm sorry, it just... You know all along and you said nothing to me? Uh, okay, you're just a robot! Let go of him! At least I have a body! And if I kill you with the strength of a robot, it wouldn't be murder. Because I don't have a fucking soul! You seemed happy! And I needed you to fix the ship, so... Fuck you! I even fantasized about you! Really? About having a child with you and everything! Uh, what happened was is that- Why'd you not tell me? Why? Marcus begged me not to tell you! Uh, I wanted to be with you! Everybody wanted to be with you! Marcus gave you ovaries! If I, if I slept with you, you could've got pregnant and then you wouldn't- And you... then what? You wouldn't make the robot happy? Oh, heaven forbid we make the robot happy! You got the little breeder here pregnant! Well, that was before there were so many, you know, men around, and it had been a long time for me to... There is nothing more ship about the land. That's fine, we got plenty of men, weapons here, so... You're gonna need a lot more than that. Fix the whale for me, so... Please. Get that in order. Yes. And if we don't get airborne, we'll all die, right? Yeah, that's the plan. Oh, well, what do I care? Because I'm just a machine without feelings. Trust me, you have feelings. They're here. If you refitted me with the new engine casings, we wouldn't have this problem. Did you know I was a robot? Everybody knows. You could have told me. If I was you, I'd prefer not to know. This is your heart and soul. I could end it all for you right now. One false slip. You could do that. And then you live with the guilt. Do you think your feelings are real? Of course they are. We're no different from humans. They have their DNA and its biological programming. Your advantage over mine is that you have a body. You can do things with your feelings. Pity you didn't show this in the bedroom.
20 miles east of here to the caves. That way you'll be safe. There's going to be a lot of explosions coming off. and stay safe. I'm safe. I'm no fucking robot. Okay. They're in my central core. What can I do? Stop them! Lou? Lou? You talk to me.
ship on deck. Get off the ship! You wanna die now? You are a conniving race of cowards. Billions of constructs are still alive because of my conniving. I don't want them dead as much as you do. The thing about fishing, it's not just about patience, it's a strategy against the fish. First, you have to lure them onto the hook. And then once you get them, you have to keep them. Wear them out before you bring them in. Remember that. We will. Too young to have a baby. Well, so am I. <laughs> Your ship's in good hands. Yeah, right. Can you get blue online? Sorry, Captain. Her central core is intact, but we're unable to wire her back into the ship. Contessa says... Where is that little flower? We found a large stash of old missiles. She's out dealing with the remains of the Nephilim. She's got quite a temper on her.
With the loss of their fleet, the Nephilim Empire was left in disarray, but prejudice towards Homo sapiens would continue for years. Warlock, the construct geneticist, used Alicia's ovary collection to grow a clone of Shetak. We thought it would be a fitting body for Blue's consciousness. Darasi would have been pleased. two galaxies before we came upon a new home, a birthplace for a new humanity. May I upgrade? This is right there. Alicia discovered her true calling after leaving five beautiful children for me to care for. She never returned to our world, but I always assumed she helped bring down the Nephilim Empire, because within a few decades, they were all dead. Alicia's sperm sample gave me a beautiful son. She never told me the identity of the donor. But I know it was Durasi. Our new home is strange, and fishing is now our way of life. We're happy here, but part of me misses Durasi. His ways were often wrong, but he was a man, and he lived as a man should. I hope my son grows up to be nothing like his father, but sometimes I hope he is just the same. I am become life, the creator of worlds. I am a machine, and I have a soul.
Nighting here, come sing with me My heart is full of pain But I know the morning comes The sun will rise again 